Hello everyone and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial, we will be focusing on how to get value from an input field in Angular. This is an essential skill when it comes to creating an interactive application that react to user input. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we have our simple angular project that we will use for this tutorial i am assuming that you have your environment set up with node.js npm and angular cli if you don't please refer back to our previous tutorials where we have covered the setup process first let's create a new component where we will implement our input field to do that open your terminal in your vs code or your native terminal of your operating system and navigate to your project directory this terminal is already in my project directory so now run this command ng generate component and then provide the name of your component so i will use get input dash value and hit enter so angular cli will take care of the creation process generating all necessary files now let's start by adding an input field and a button to our template so open this html file and write this code that i am going to write now create a div input here i will have a directive ng model and here we will refer to a property input value and here you will see an error that is saying that cannot bind ng model since it is not a known property of input. The reason is that you have to import a module forms module in the com in the module where this component is declared. So this component is declared here. So make sure to import this module forms module save. Now that specific error has gone, but now it is complaining about the missing property that you have to create. So let's do that. But before that, let me create a button as well here that will say show input value. And I will track a click event that will call a function show value. And now we will define the missing functions and variables in our component TypeScript file. So here let's create input value. Type would be string obviously. And the function will be show value. And in that function we will alert the text. And we need to give it a default value. By default I will give it empty. And in the input field value. And here we will display the value. Make sure to use template literal instead of normal single quotes. So here this dot input value. All right. As you can see that we have defined the input value as a string and implemented the show value function that uses the alert function to display the input field value. Finally, let's run our application to see this action. So go back to your terminal and use ng serve command that will open uh, that will run your server and then open your browser my server is already running so i will not run that command again so open your browser and you can type this address localhost colon 4200 but my server is running on a different port so i will use this one so right now it is showing uh, a different view i don't want to see this view i want to see the component that i just created so for that i need to add that component here get input value and now if you reload it you can see an input and a button now enter your value in this input hello world and press the show input value button you should see an alert box displaying the value you have entered so you can see that the value is visible if you make a change and add a new value if you click on it again you will see that new value is captured so in this way you can easily get the values of your input and you can use them in whatever logic you want to use you can either use it to send it to the api or backend or whatever you are doing further as ng model implements the two-way binding for you so that's mean uh, you can use this value in real time in your HTML as well. For example, 
you can just copy it and use the value here. And if you print the value, you will see the changes in real time without clicking any button. So for example, if you type, you can see it is changing in real time. And let me add some line breaks. You can see whatever I type, it will show them in the real time. And there you have it. Now, you know how to get the value from an input field in Angular. So this is a crucial step in creating dynamic and interactive web applications. So keep practicing and experiment with different scenarios to become more proficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Angular tutorials. So see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.